Hello guys, welcome. This is a Python topic tutorial. In this tutorial, you are going to learn about extended iterable unpacking. I hope you know about unpacking. Unpacking means just uh, assigning uh, multiple values in a single assignment. That is called unpacking. But extended iterable unpacking is uh, a new concept uh, that is an extended from uh, the old that is um, iterable unpacking. Uh, the previous was uh, iterable unpacking, but uh, that was not uh, an efficient way. That's why extended iterable unpacking was introduced. Uh, unpacking in Python refers to an operation that consists of assigning an iterable of values to a tuple or a list of variables in a single assignment statement. As a complement, the term packing can be used when we collect several values in a single variable using the iterable unpacking operator that is called asterisk. This extended unpacking was introduced in Python 3 and uh, registered in uh, PAP 31 32. This was proposed a changes to iterable unpacking syntax that is called extended um, uh, iterable uh, unpacking. This allowing to specify a casual name which would be assigned a list of all items not assigned to a regular name. For example, many algorithms require a splitting a sequence in a first and the other is Rust pair. For example, this is an example that first uh, and the Rust, the first uh, assigns the first element from the sequence and the Rust is uh, from uh, by slicing uh, from uh, uh, the second element up to the last element. That is, uh, but this was not efficient way and a, not a cleaner uh, way to uh, unpacking iterable uh, elements or sequences. That's why extended iterable unpacking was introduced and replaced with uh, this iterable unpacking. So when, when you replace this one by uh, extended iterable unpacking, uh, we can just use the first that assigns the first element uh, from the sequence. And we can use uh, asterisk that is called start expression. And instead of uh, slicing uh, from a sequence and assign to the rest, just we use a single variable that contains a sequence of uh, elements in the right side. And we just use asterisk to unpack the rest of the sequences from the uh, sequence. The star or asterisk operator is known in this context as the tuple or a table that is list unpacking operator. This is known as unpacking operator. This extends the unpacking functional to allow us to collect or pack multiple values in a single variable. This unpacking uh, operator uh, help us to uh, pack multiple values in a single variable, a single variable. So this is most important one. And instead of using uh, just uh, slicing, we can uh, use unpacking operator and just uh, uh, contain uh, multiple values in a single variable. For example, if a sequence is a sliceable sequence, which contains a sequence of uh, digits, all the following assignments are equivalent if sequence has at least two elements. For example, A, B, C, this is unpacking, and we uh, assign uh, 
the first uh, variable a is the first element from the sequence and the list of uh, the elements from the sequence by slicing starting from one up to at index one up to the last index uh, to the variable b that is unpacking uh, contains multiple values in this uh, case and the third element the third variable is or the last is contains the last element from the sequence that is sequence at index one index one uh, i mean index negative one represents the last element so instead of using uh, this uh, a table unpacking we can uh, simply use extended a table unpacking uh, method and we can uh, just take the first uh, element from the sequences uh, to the first and the rest of the sequences is assigned to the start variable or expression and the last element is assigned to uh, the third variable and we can simply use a single a single sequence uh, variable which contains a list of uh, elements so this is more efficient and cleaner way of unpacking uh, multiple values in so we can also use uh, the result in a list and or in a tuple as well so it is an error as it is currently if the a table doesn't contain enough items to assign to all the mandatory expressions actually the a and a and c are the mandatory uh, uh, variables uh, or expressions and a star b or asterisk b is a start expression so if the sequence uh, contains doesn't contain any uh, enough items uh, so uh, all the that uh, generate an error because the mandatory variables uh, does not contain because of the a table doesn't contain enough items to assign to the mand uh, mandatory variables and also an error to use the start expression as an alone assignment target for example uh, this way this is the range uh, five means uh, the list of items from zero up to uh, four zero up to four so in this uh, regard it uh, generates uh, an error that is a start start assignment target must be in a list or tuple so in this way of uh, expression is start expression is error so we should be in a list or a tuple so instead of using uh, this one we can use uh, we can put comma after the start expression so it's going to return a list of uh, elements. This automatically assigned all the rest of two. This is the start, uh, the start expression alone. There, there, there are no uh, mandatory expressions in this uh, regard. And the sec, uh, the sir, uh, another example is that which contains the mandatory uh, expressions that is a and c a takes uh, the first element and c takes the last element the rest of the elements is from uh, the sequence assigned to the start expression so the value of in this regard from the list the value of a is zero and the value of c is the last element that is four and the rest of the elements can be assigned to the start expression those elements can be uh, one two and three
sorry that's b that is list items it returns list of items that uh, contains the rest of the uh, sequences so this is uh, the best way instead of uh, using iterable unpacking so extended unpacking is a uh, more efficient and cleaner way okay let's practice uh, this one here there is uh, a problem we are going to solve in this uh, tutorial to uh, get understand what is unpacking uh, extended unpacking let's call a list uh, that is a beautiful if it is first element is equal to it is last element if the first element is equal to the last element that's uh, called a list is called a beautiful or if a list is empty it doesn't contain any uh, items given a list a your task is to chop off its first and its last element until it becomes beautiful just we are going to chop off uh, the first and the last element from the list until it becomes uh, beautiful, which means until it becomes the first and the last elements uh, equal or uh, until it becomes uh, the list uh, empty. So we are going to do this uh, as a practical uh, or just uh, exercise to uh, more uh, understand about the extended uh, iterable unpacking. We're going to implement a function that will make the given a brief full as described above and that's going to return the resulting list as an answer. For example, uh, an array contains a list of uh, a sequence of digits and the output should be a brief full uh, function takes the array and it's going to return 4, 38, and 4. That is because in this result, 4 and the first element and the last elements are equal. So that is a beautiful. It's going to return. That reaches to a beautiful list. Okay, let's do. Uh, first of all, let's use this an example. Let's define uh, a new variable that slices the whole uh, elements from the list. For example, print race. Sorry, I. That is all elements can be assigned to a new variable. And I'm going to use uh, just uh, a while loop that checks either the race is in, uh, become empty or the first and the last elements becomes uh, equal to return the list is a brief full and it's going to return uh, the list of elements as a result. Okay, while race and race the first element, is different from arrays at the last index, the last element. If they are not uh, equal or the list not empty, we are going to still unpack first and arrays that is arrays and the last and we can just assign race. That is, this is uh, the more efficient way to assign. So it's going to check that uh, still it takes race, race going to be updated in this regard because we are going to take from the race, for example, the first element is three and uh, the last element is two. That is not equal. So it is uh, uh, true, it becomes that it takes the first element and the last element and the rest are going to be assigned uh, from uh, the second element up to 
the second element from the last uh, or the negative index indexing. For example, we can uh, just print out print race. We can see first sticks. You see when you when you uh, unpacking here, the first element going to be assigned to the first. The last element going to be assigned uh, to the last, and the rest of the element is going to be assigned to the start expression. So now the start uh, race, the rest of the elements can be updated, and uh, it would be this one. Now it's going to uh, continue the while loop. The while loop becomes uh, true. For example, for it takes four and uh, three. Uh, still, the, uh, the list is not emitted. Four is different from three. That is true. It's going to assign the rest of the elements by slicing, uh, by taking the first and the last element from the uh, sequence, and it's going to return uh, the second uh, sequence uh, list. Uh, still, uh, two and five is not equal. It continue until it becomes either the uh, rest uh, becomes emitted or the first and the last element becomes uh, equal until uh, this while loop becomes false. OK. Uh, finally, our target is just uh, return the brief list. That is for uh, 38 and 4 because the first and the last elements becomes true. The statement uh, says that, let's call a list is a briefful if it is first element is equal to it is last element or if a list uh, is emitted. So we are going to just uh, chop off it is first and last element from the sequence until it becomes beautiful, until it becomes uh, this result. So this is, uh, today's lesson i hope you enjoyed in this uh, video uh, in uh, if you like uh, this tutorial uh, share subscribe and like and also if you like to support us you can send us uh, a thanks gift uh, by clicking on thanks button uh, under this video thanks for watching today